Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Two teenage brothers have now been in the hospital for three months after catching COVID-19. One is still too sick to talk. The other is now urging everyone to keep doing whatever's possible to stop the spread of the virus. He shared their story with Morning Insider Tim McNicholas. Inside Advocate Christ Medical Center. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Much better. Pablo Nunez is staying strong, not just for himself, but for his big brother, Carlos. They've been in the ICU since April. How's your brother doing right now? He's doing worse. He's not eating a lot and like mostly sleeping through the day. Both brothers got so sick they needed an ECMO machine to help them oxygenate blood. Carlos is still on that machine. Pablo is now off, but still needs help breathing. It's sad. It's, he's not improving as much. I'm hoping he doesn't have to go to have a lung transplant. Carlos's brother-in-law and sister say the boys were both planning to get vaccinated, but they got sick just days before the Pfizer vaccine was approved for their age group. The CDC now recommends vaccines for people 12 and older. You know, either get vaccinated or be as safe as possible. Do not let your guard down because this can happen to you. The family is from Lake County, Indiana, which is 44% fully vaccinated. That's below the national rate of about 48% and below neighboring Cook County, where more than 53% are fully vaccinated. He's still like very touch and go. Carlos is struggling to speak, but he has found the strength to tell his family he loves them. You know, it takes everything out of him just to talk, but for him to say, how are you? That's just his personality that He's thinking of everyone else. The family has launched a GoFundMe, not for medical bills, but to give the boys something to look forward to. The plan is to put the funds to college expenses or maybe a family vacation. Carlos is in a very, unfortunately in a very yeah. dark place and we're out of desperation. We're doing whatever we can just to keep him wanting to keep fighting. Tim McNicholas. CBS 2 News. His family has been through so much. We wish him all the best, but making things even more challenging, the boy's father suffers from both Alzheimer's and a heart condition. Now, he is already vaccinated, and so is their mom, and the family believes those vaccines protected the parents from getting the virus. For more stories like this, download the CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.